I realize that this is very hypocritical of me because my father um, worked for General Dynamics in the 80s, but I don't like the military industrial complex. I don't. However, it does provide a really good explanation into American culture. For example, um, yesterday news broke about the armies wanting to not have any more Abrams tanks. Um, specifically the M1A2, which is the one that my father worked I don't know, worked on as a code monkey back in the... Well, it was either the 80s or the 90s. I can't remember. But the point, point being, because of that, among other things, I am able to get through college. Yeah. But the news is that... Um, the army has said that they don't need any more of the of the tanks for this year, at least. And the government is, particularly Congress, is going to give them uh, the tanks anyway. And one of the comments that I read on that was, when I was in the army, we used to, we could try to find ways to do things cheaper, but we wouldn't be able to because if we don't use the money, we wouldn't get the same amount of funding for next year. We needed the same amount of funding. And that's a really, as awful as that is, that's a really great point for defining American culture as a whole, basically. Because I live in the desert in, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I've mentioned this multiple times. Um, but we're an apportionment state, which means that if you want to get water for your farm you have to um get a permit that says you can and the permit will list the amount of the amount of water that you can get per in more more than likely in cubic feet no sorry um in acre feet per year so one of the things that you have to do there is um keep everything the way it was back when you started your irrigation. So let's say you have an unlined ditch leading from the Rio Grande, Rio Grande to your house, to your farm, which is the case in most places. Um, and then you use flood irrigation because you have, let's say, 40 acre feet, sorry, one acre foot per year to use. And if you don't use up that entire acre feet per year, that acre foot per year, you will get lower, a lower amount in next year, more than likely, because of the use it or lose it principle. And I was thinking about how, how annoying this is and how stupid this is, and then I realized that I have $88 on my University of New Mexico dining points, so these don't roll over to next year. So I have to use $88 between now and the end of school on May 11th. So what I will end up doing more than likely, and by more than likely I mean this is what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be getting a bunch of Sonic drinks. This is a Route 44 Cherry Limeade, and it cost me $1.24. Also I've gone to the coffee shop there and I do that basically every day I spend about like five bucks on the, out, out there and that still won't use up my money so I need to find creative ways of buying stuff um, I think I have a solution though my solution is to buy a coffee drink in the morning buy um, a Red Bull in the afternoon and buy a sonic drink. Well, I'm buying a sonic drink rather than Chick-fil-A sweet tea, which is also really good. The reason why I'm doing that is because Sonic won't be around next year. One of the things that I find interesting about Sonic not being here next year is that um, they, it, in, its, in their place they were planning on putting in a Whataburger. But the reason why they weren't, why they won't put that in, is because Whataburger doesn't support gay marriage, which I don't 
understand why that suddenly became a criteria for deciding who op operates in the sub because Chick-fil-A is still there. But that's a different tangent. For those of you wondering why I didn't make a video on Sunday, that was because in the Northwest, um, four people were stabbed, and I just it didn't feel right for me to make a video in which I would be joking a lot. And I just didn't feel like making one because of that. Um, also, I was feeling very angry uh, for with the, for for no reason whatsoever. So that's why I didn't get a video tomorrow. Or so, that's why I didn't get a video Sunday. I'll try to make one, try to make two tomorrow, and then I'll try to make two on Saturday to make up for it. But yeah, I don't like everything. I don't really like most things when I think about it. Oh well. About 30 minutes, Saks Fiesta, so yay, good news. Adios.